So um, it was our first year working with the Dover um, Regional uh, Dover Valley Regional Planning Authority uh, Commission, rather, and our first year working with the New Hampshire Department of Energy, both amazing organizations doing amazing things. So um, we, uh, the New Hampshire Department of Energy hasn't been around very long, um, and um, we're excited to be able to contribute to the leadership there. So, um, Deandra, thanks for being here. Yeah, great. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I was going to say you could not have worked with us because we're all of, I think, just hit two years old. So um, yeah, exciting times over here. And really great opportunity to work with um, Owen Miller, who was our fellow this year. Owen is a rising senior at UNH. Um, he's studying both economics with a focus on sustainability and public policy, as well as philosophy. Um, Owen, really perceptive and intelligent person. He's definitely aiming to have a positive impact. Um, he fulfilled all of his assignments with motivation, creativity, uh, independence. He asked a lot of great questions. He learned, you know, there's a lot, I think, probably in all of these projects to get brought up to speed on really quickly. Uh, and took a lot of initiative to try to fully understand all of the systems that are in place and what's going to work and, and what's not. Um, also proved to be a really strong writer and adept researcher, found a lot of his own good resources uh, and has shared a lot of that really valuable learning uh, with our team. So it's definitely going to positively impact our programs. You know, we're looking forward to take all, all of the work that he did and, and he's got us on a, a good starting point to move forward and really take some actions with, with everything he learned. So um, I also wanted to thank Mascoma Bank. Um, they supported this, this particular fellowship. So they enabled Owen to work with us this summer and uh, it was a great opportunity. So I wanna make sure to mention them as well. And with that, I will turn it over to Owen to share a little bit more about um, his project and his experience. All right, thank you, Deandra. Yeah. All right, uh, we can go right into the first slide here. Just jump right into it. So uh, I wanted to start off like kind of illustrating my research process and uh, starting with that first research question of how can we make residential solar rebates more effective for uh, LMI customers in New Hampshire. And so in order to like embark on that question, I really needed to like figure out what New Hampshire was doing. And in order to understand that, I needed to like ab absorb all this information about, um, about how state governments like have energy policies and how like all the reports and all the terms and acronyms. And so there was a lot of adjusting there with um, like the first few weeks was a lot of just like trying to absorb as much information as possible. And um, so that kind of led me into reading more internal reports and uh, statute and like understanding how the the law interacted with policy. And there, there was a lot of a lot of new learning there because I I'd never really done super deep research into this, like outside of like a classroom setting. So this is like my first real like really digging deep into research like this. And so from from these uh like from the internal reports and all that learning that I did initially, uh, I got some promising leads. I, I really, I really baked it down to like some pretty basic points here. There's a lot more like co super contextual information that would go take forever for me to go over right now. But uh, some basic points were just the the pilot program that the PUC had and was was uh, sitting there, and then um, the discussion with the weatherization assistance program, where we were talking about a tie in with with them. And so they actually led me to a lot of information about what other states are doing, which was the sort of second part of my research question of how can we look at what other states are doing and adapt that in New Hampshire. And uh, one of the prime resources for that was uh, the Clean Energy States Alliance. And they had lots of, they had like a whole database on all these different programs that other states were conducting. And um, they had lots of data and I attended a meeting with them and they led me to the uh, Connecticut Green Bank and I had a discussion with a former employee of them. So uh, we can go to the next slide now. All right, so I just wanted to kind of go over a few of my findings. This is yet again, very honed down. So just a few examples, but um, the, the pilot program was, it's a, it had 
hadn't been adopted, but it could potentially be tweaked and uh, reproposed. Um, now it's been a few years since that was initially thought up. Um, and so that, that was a, a good policy for just outlining what exactly the a sort of pilot would look like, because I hadn't really worked with pilot programs before. So that was very helpful for just like getting a, a sample of what this, this new project could be. Um, from my talk with weatherization, uh, they made me aware of some of the potential, potential costs or like added additional uh, processes if there was a tie in with them. And, but they also led me to um, like, they talked about education and outreach through that sort of program and um, just how the, we could kind of like marry the, those two concepts together potentially. Um, and then my talk with former employees, uh, Connecticut Green Bank, led me to look more into solar financing options, which I hadn't uh, looked into before. And um, so that kind of led to a whole new potential uh, angle that we could go. And uh, she, really, she really stressed the importance of uh, consumer protection, which I thought was really important, uh, especially considering we're dealing with low to moderate income customers, like there's a lot of um, upfront costs involved and just making sure that they uh, aren't paying too much or they're actually saving money is, is very important when you're trying to run a solar uh, incentive. Um, and so we can go right onto my, my third slide. All right, so I just wanted to outline some potential paths forward. This research project was a lot of like, it wasn't, it had a it had a basic question, but it was a lot of sort of just gathering all the, the potential knowledge and potential roads that we could go down with this sort of project. So I think the the prime the primary road forward would be a residential solar incentive um, with potentially with help from a financing organization. That would be kind of to be determined. But we were looking at a potential pilot program that could serve around 75 to 140, which is which is pretty decent for a pilot. Um, and so uh, in addition to that main path that we also had some interesting implications for community solar where there was a lot of um, a lot of other states didn't so much focus on the residential, they focused a lot on community solar. So I think there was a lot of potential room for that um, with looking into how we could use st more state funding for that. And then there was um, lots of research about, or lots of, um, information about new federal funding coming out, especially with a lot of these new federal bills coming through. So there's a lot of money out there that the state could potentially go after. But this this project was more tailored towards state money. So that wasn't as important. But um, yeah, basically on a, on a more personal level, like the, the takeaways that I had from this was I, I just learned a lot about how I work independently and how I research and just I think I, I I really learned in that first few weeks that you can't learn everything by just trying to force everything into your brain by reading all these like 20 page reports over and over again, but really like talking to people that already know it and they can digest it like for you, like they already have the information. And so you don't need to cram it in as much. And it just, I, I think that was a really valuable discovery for me. And uh, I just want to thank Deandra and her team. They they were great. I really liked working with them. I had some great opportunities with them where I went to the state house and sat in on like a government council, governor and council meeting, which was really cool. Um, and I want to thank UNH Sustainability Institute and everyone there. And just thanks for listening. And um, any any questions? Thanks, Owen. Great job. I uh, just want just one quick question. You talked a lot about, and I enjoyed our conversations about how much you kind of evolved over the project and those things. And how do you think that, that is uh, just as valuable, if not more valuable than this intellectual knowledge that we carry? Um, how I evolved over the, over the process? Just what you've learned and what you've taken away from this process and what you'll be carrying forward with you. How, how can that be just as powerful as into any intellectual knowledge that we carry? I mean, I think that like the the personal growth that I've experienced, I just feel like a lot more confident in like my abilities when I'm when I'm like researching and stuff. Like, because I feel like I I was very like in a more yeah more like intellectual space of like I need to like do reports and read and but I think I I really learned a lot about like taught just like personal connections in like a more professional setting is really important and valuable and I 
I hadn't really had experience with that before. So I think that really um, helped out with like my personal growth as just like a person and a professional. Great. Oh my gosh. Mission accomplished. That's what we're going for <laughs> with this whole program. So thank you for saying it so well and thank you for being a part of it. Love it. Love this thank so much. You.